Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, I will show you the solutions to the physics questions of paper 2 of JEE Advanced 2015. I will solve the problems as they appear in code 1. Let's look at the next question. In the next question, we are given a prism, equilateral prism, that means all angles are 60 degrees and we have a ray of light going it, going in at 60 degrees and then it is going like this and we want to find out the relationship of the emergent angle first thing we are given is n is equal to root 3 and theta is equal to 60 for these two values we want to find the value of t theta by dn that means we want to find the value of theta with respect to n and then we can use uh, then we can use these three two values to calculate First of all, the most important thing to realize is if this angle is 60, then this angle is 30, right? And if this angle is 60 and n is equal to root 3, for this angle r, we can say sine 60 into 1 is equal to root 3 into sine r. Right? And from that, we can get that sine 60 is root 3 by 2 is equal to root 3 into sine r or sin r is 1 by 2 or r is equal to 30 degrees so this is a very important result now this is given to us to be 30 degrees if this is 30 degrees that means this is 60 degrees if this is 60 degrees and this is 60 degrees that means the figure given to us in the question is slightly misleading this is actually the angle of minimum deviation and this ray which is inside the prism is actually parallel right now this is actually parallel that makes the problem significantly simpler. So this angle is 30 degrees. We also so we know this angle is 30 degrees and and if we look at sorry if if you look at this quadrilateral, this main quadrilateral, I extend these two. In that case, this whole angle is 90 degree, this is 90 and this is 60. So this angle becomes 120 degrees. But this plus this plus this is 180. So the sum of these two angles is 60 degrees. So if this is R this is equal to 60 minus r right so we can write the equation uh, n times now i'm writing the equation for this case sorry, n times sine of 60 minus r is equal to sine theta right now in this case we calculated this for the specific value of n is equal to root 3 but what if n were not root 3, right? Because we wanted to calculate for general n and we actually put n is equal to root 3 in the end. So in that case, the equation will be sine 60 is equal to n sine r. And from that we get sine r is equal to root 3 by 2n. So sine r is equal to root 3 by 2n. That means cos r is equal to root of 1 minus 3 by 4n squared. So now I'm going to rub this thing to the left because it's not really significant. We will just write the equation of sine a minus b and substitute the two values and we will get a relation between theta and n. That is our initial goal, remember. As soon as we get the relation between theta and n, we can differentiate it and put these two values. So we get the equation n times sine of 60, that is root 3 by 2, cos of r, that is root of 1 minus 3 by 4 n square minus cos of 60 that is 1 by 2 times sine of r so root 3 by 4 n is equal to sine theta now i can try to simplify it but it becomes easier if i differentiate it straight away so sine theta gives me cos theta d theta by dn and this is equal to the derivative of this whole thing so it will have a number of terms First, there will be the derivative of this, so there will be root 3 by 2 times 1 minus 3 by 4 n squared minus root 3 by 4 n plus, this is the first term, plus we'll have n times root 3 by 2 times 1 minus 3 by 4 n squared. So this is to the power half so half into this to the power minus 1 by 2 
into another derivative of this. So this is n to the power minus 2. So we'll get minus 2 times n to the power minus 3 minus minus will cancel. So we'll get 2 times 3 by 4 n cube plus the derivative of the second term will be this is minus 1 to root 3 by 4 n square. Now I'm not going to simplify this because this is getting a little bit too complicated but all you need to do is now we've got d theta by dn right so we can put the value of cos theta cos 60 will be 1 by 2 and we can put the value of n as root 3 in this long equation and if you put n is equal to root 3 you'll get the value of d theta by dn and you can try to simplify it at home I've given you the equation all you need to do is differentiate this which I've written here and the final answer will come out to be d theta by dn is equal to 2. Basically this is half of d theta by tn so this whole thing on this side if you put n is equal to root 3 this will come out to be 1 and you'll get d theta by dn is equal to 2 so my final answer in this case is is m is equal to 2. This is a slightly lengthy question compared to the others. Thank you.